How about that vegetable flatbread? Yeah, and that it's, looked so good. And it's a really <gasps> interesting concept because, like, wine tasting is really fun. Yeah, it is. And people love to go there and enjoy wine. So the whole front of this restaurant is that is this beautiful wine tasting, yeah. and in the back is this nice upscale restaurant. It's gorgeous. Hey, bud. hey, Cor. Yeah. Yeah, and you're right, and, and you don't have to be a wine expert to get a great wine with your food because the experts are already here, and it is a gorgeous location, Cooper's Hawk, that's the name, and uh, they've now really uh, nested here in the West, so already a location in Scottsdale, and guess what? Kelsey Kramer's with us. Uh, welcome to Chandler, by the way. Thank you so much. I know awesome you guys are pretty you. revved up. Uh, tell everybody just about where we are so they know. Yeah, so we're right outside the Fashion Square, Fashion Center Mall in Chandler. Mm -hmm. uh, 3325 is our address. We are right here in the middle, ready and open today for business. Yeah, well, as Tom looks around, you've got everything from the chocolate to these beautiful wines. And again, I think most people, they like wine, but they're not experts. But sure. you really take all the, all the thinking out of it, and you help to kind of guide people in the right direction with their meal, right? Absolutely. Our goal is to make food and wine approachable. Mm -hmm. uh, we want everybody to start their journey with wine with us. Uh, it is more than uh, acceptable to bring your family, friends. We want everyone to come and try our wines here at Cooper's Hawk. Well, I, I, I love your presentation as well. It's really cool, especially if you order a red. This happens at every table, right? It sure does. This here is our decanter. Uh, you do receive one of these at your table whenever you order a mm -hmm. bottle of red wine. See how it works. Yeah, and this thing's pretty neat. So you're going to pour it right over this glass bulb. This really allows the wine to open up and breathe. Uh -huh. And sometimes you get those natural sediments in red wine. This just airs that right out. So you get really that nice presentation and you're able to taste the wine. That is about as classy as it gets. Yeah. Well, Kelsey, we're going to move from the front of the house where all of your wine is kept uh, to uh, the dining area, which is gorgeous as well. In fact, why not cut through the bar as long as we're going this way? Uh, I don't know if we'll get to see everything unless we do, but... Uh, your happy hour what's the situation there by the way yeah so happy every hour monday through friday from two to five uh, we're super popular for happy hour we've got great food on our happy hour list wine uh, you get everything yeah well your dining room is so nice it's sleek it's very modern and uh, i bet it gets noisy in here on a friday night it's fun and nice and busy, but uh, we try to keep it uh, not as busy. That way you can talk. Sure. Well, I like the uh, semi-open kitchen concept you've got going back there. We can see uh, the chef's heart at work. Uh, but let's talk about the food. And uh, sure. the presentation is so beautiful. Uh, let's start up here in the front, and we'll kind of go around the horn. Absolutely. So here you have your trio medallions. The great thing about that dish and my personal favorite is that center medallion. That's going to be your Parmesan crusted medallion. It's uh -huh. just really nice and savory. And next door? Yeah, next door. That's our shrimp and scallop risotto. We drizzle the top of that with a really nice truffle oil. Oh, yeah. Really brings out the flavor. Oh, and these flatbreads are beautiful. Is this all for one person? It that's sure gorgeous. is. <laughs> yeah, that's our combo. You get a full-size flatbread with that. Um, and then, of course, our wedge salad. But my favorite flatbread is this guy right here. Mm -hmm. This is our roasted vegetable flatbread. Uh, it's really nice with that balsamic glaze. It gives it a super nice sweetness. And then it really finishes with that savory goat yeah. cheese on top. And then top. quickly, here are these two? Sure. So that's our most popular dish. That's our crispy Brussels sprouts. Uh, we see those flying out on Fridays and Saturday mm -hmm. nights, definitely. And then, of course, our chocolate cake. We do finish that with a scoop of vanilla ice cream as well. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, next time we get together, Kelsey, we'll meet the chef. We'll do some cooking uh, back behind the line, Troy and Celeste. And you are going to love what the chef's got prepared for you. Who doesn't like some shrimp oh, risotto? Oh, no yeah. kidding. That's it's like a little bit cooking. of wine country Kelsey. right here in town. Like, you don't, you don't need to go out I of know, the I know. It really is. You're so, you're so and you can go. You can go in the so front of the house minutes. if yeah. you have like a 6:30 reservation. So you good. show up at six in the front, Thanks, and you can do a full tasting. Yeah. Where they bring out a whole flight of wine, you get to taste kind of like a, you'd be at a winery, and then you go back and have and that delicious meal. And they have like meal. a private room where you can have, maybe have like a birthday party or something. There you go. Very cool. Okay. So Corey's at Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurant opening today in the East Valley. Yeah, it's right outside the Chandler Mall in that little area of restaurants out there. And this is a fancy, it's nice, really high-end cool. place. I think it's going to do really well over there. Hey, Corey. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And this is the crew making it all happen. Give a wave, everybody. 
Oh, that's right. Uh, behind the line, that's where we love it. And we're with Chef Edmund Vogel. Chef, thanks so much for getting up early for us. Yeah. And congratulations on another opening. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this is our uh, our 47th restaurant that we have as a company, our second in Scottsdale. And we're extremely excited uh, to be in this Phoenix uh, region. Yeah, well... This is why you're doing so well. What are you going to prepare for us today? Yeah, so right now we've got a, a barramundi um, working in the pan. A barramundi, what this is, it's a very flaky, mild white fish. Um, they almost call oh. it an Asian sea bass. You see that beautiful sea on it right there. lovely that is. Um, you know, it's a sustainable fish. That's why we're such a fan of it, because it's responsible fishing mm -hmm. that happens with this product. It's got a ton of omega-3 fatty acids, just like a salmon. Um, so it's got its health benefits as well. Gotcha. What's the dish you're going to prepare then? Yeah, so this one right here is our pan-seared barramundi. It's got a little Thai lemongrass sauce, mm -hmm. um, some blister green beans that we kind of sneak peeked earlier. Um, so through the magic of TV, we'll, we'll pop this one out. Gotcha. We'll grab our completed barramundi oh. right here. Awesome. There's never, there's no such thing as too much butter, am I right? Uh, well, wow. it depends on who you ask, the chef or the doctor, <laughs> right? <laughs> and oh. then with that, we're going to go in with our blistered green beans. Pretty standard, standard carrot, um, onions, peppers, green beans, and then we're going to go in with our beautiful Thai lemongrass sauce. Oh. Now you're making everybody happy. You're in the happiness business. Right. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Well, yeah. while we're bubbling there, Give folks an idea of how how easy it is to pair up a wine with a dish like this. Now, yeah. I wouldn't have the first clue about how to do it, but your tasting room kind of makes it easy on people. 100%. So we've got a tasting room, like Kelsey mentioned earlier, and you guys were in, where we have 72 different varietals at any given time. And with that, you can taste eight different tastings from sweet to white to reds and kind of Let's say I nail one and say, oh, this is for me. I love this wine. Yep. Then what's the next step? Then your next step is to look at our menu, um, right? Being approachable, that's that's our thing with wine and food. So like this dish in particular pairs with our bin number that is our Gortz demeanor. Wow. Um, so if I fell in love with the Gortz demeanor, yeah. I would say, I would ask my server, well, what pairs with this? And you would say, well, it's the Barramundi. It's going to be the our... Easiest pot. Exactly. It's going to be our pan-roasted Barramundi. So that's where we say we like to make things approachable for our guests. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of people are intimidated by wine. A lot of people are intimidated by food. And what we want to do is we want to cross that bridge for every guest. Yeah. Well, we've got about 40 seconds left or so. And okay. uh, you've got a great wine club as well. Tell us about that. We do. Um, so we actually have the nation's oh largest God. single vineyard wine club. Um, and what that does, it gives our guests a ton of perks. Uh, we do trips. We just did a trip with a, a bunch of wine club members um, over to Greece. We've got one in Italy right now. Um, and then we also have wine club events that are special just solely for them as well. Boy. Well, what a community you're building. And talk about approachable. How fun is that to make a bunch of friends uh, on a wine trip? Friends for life. Yeah, exactly. And then you think about once a month, one Tuesday a month, where we're going to bring in um, our wine club members, and they're going to sit together. And when they come in and they experience that in one of our private dining rooms, um, they're going to be with that group for the rest of their life and their tenure at Cooper's Hawk. So great. Well, Chef, welcome aboard. So glad you. To you and your team are out here. Cooper's Hawk, easy to find near the uh, Chandler Mall. That's one of... Uh, Two locations, uh, Scottsdale and now here in Chandler, and uh, you're going to be here a long, long time, Chef. Chef Edmund Vogel and the rest of the gang at Cooper's Hall. That's it for us, you guys. Um, enjoy your Brussels sprouts back there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so usually it's Corey who gets to, like, try this <laughs> yeah. yummy stuff, right? And note to all the restaurants out there we do these uh, shots on, you get a little extra air time. When this you is send how you us. do it. So yeah. this is the risotto. Risotto? risotto? How do you say it? I guess you can say it however you want. Risotto! Uh, and then want. I put a little scallop um, on here. Yeah, it has scallops and shrimps. Oh mm. my gosh. Mm. No, I can't talk. Okay. Mm. I know because I have food in my mouth spouse? too. Mm -mm. Not yet. Cooper Talk in Chandler. Thank you so much for all that. And what a beautiful yeah, place. You don't have to leave Arizona to go to, um, you know, wine country, so to say. Let's go to Chandler. Nice job, guys. We'll be right back. Thank you.